today we have our Peeping Pan project update. So the Peeping Pan is another project run by the Pantastic Ladies. I will leave all their details as always linked below. And the idea is to choose between four, six products and set a goal for each product. And then when you hit that goal, roll it out and roll something else in. It is a year long project. So you just keep on going until you get to the end of the year. And then you see how many products you have hit set goals with. So I chose to concentrate on eyeshadows. So that is exactly what I have here. So I will go through with you um, everything that I have at the moment. One of the things that I rolled in last month was this number seven Stay Perfect Shade and Define Eye Pencil in Gunmetal Grey. My goal on this was to use up a centimetre of uh, product. I can tell you, I haven't even used it. Uh, I just haven't been drawn to having a grey blue eye look this month. Um, I've already swatched it for you, so here it is. Um, it is a stunning colour, uh, don't get me wrong, but I just haven't felt... I've been doing more brown eyes at the moment. However, I was looking in boots the other day. Stay away from the shops, Nicola. Um, and they have some more colours of this, this pencil um, in boots at the moment and on the number seven counter and there's a gorgeous like rosy pink one um, and I'm tempted to go buy it. But I have told myself Use a centimetre of this first, Nicola, and then as a treat, you can go buy the other one. So that might drive me to use this more this month so I can hit the goal sooner rather than later so I can go buy the pink one. <laughs> so no progress on that at the moment. The next item was something also rolled in last month, and it is this Rimmel Glam Eyes Mono Eyeshadow in the colour Azure. The packaging on this is broken but hey ho it is a really nice blue color and that is it there i thought these two shades would go well together i'm right but i just again haven't been went into play with bluey gray eyes this uh throughout march so no progress on that to show as yet the next item is doing my head in as we say here in the UK, and it is this. It is the Makeup Revolution Mono Eyeshadow in Neutral Red. It's not a red, it's a pink. You can see a bit of a dip going on there. That is the swatch of it. Are you with me? It's more of a pink, isn't it? It's a pink. Um, you don't need a lot on your brush. That's the problem with this. It's so pigmented you don't need to be digging your brush in to get more product out and yeah it's just it's been in since the very beginning in January um it's doing my head in but I will I will continue with it I will beat this thing <laughs> eventually don't know when the next item kind of also did my head in because Right after I'd finished filming the last update for this project pan, the very next time I use this product, I hit pan. And it is the other Makeup Revolution mono eyeshadow I had in Velvet Looks. And this was also in from the very beginning. And there you go. I've hit pan. So yeah, I use this to set a liquid eyeliner um, on my eyes. So that's the only way I've been using this. So as the liquid eyeliner was also in a project pan, the kind I was too, I was kind of working the two together. Um, but yeah, hit pan the very next use. I was like, oh, um, but that is that one. Hit pan, hit goal. So I am rolling that one out. The next one did take me a little bit longer throughout the month to hit pan. But it is my Barbara Daly uh, single eyeshadow in Whirl. But Barbara Daly is designed for Tesco's makeup. 
which is a supermarket here and you don't get the silver bottom in this but I can assure you it is pan right at the bottom down there there is pan oh my nails kind of match the color anyway um so yeah I hit pan on this one as well how I've been using this is I've been as I say I've been loving a brown eye look at the moment but I have been putting this on the bottom of my lashes here on the bottom of uh, my lash line and um having that pop of color um and it brings out the green in my eyes so i've really been enjoying that but that is now being rolled out <coughs> sorry and the last item was my uh scorpio eyeshadow palette from uh makeup revolution and this one has uh three purple eyeshadows a highlighter two brow products there and then this empty bit was actually oh that's filthy uh was actually a brow wax it was starting to look really minging as my daughter would say um so i took that out because i'm never going to use that it's disgusting Blech. so there is a bit of a dip in the highlighter as you can see but for any eagle eyed people you will see there is pan on this brow shade here now i know i said i was concentrating on eyeshadows for this project pan but as the brow shade was the brow powder was already in this palette that's what i've been playing with i haven't really been playing with purple eyeshadow either for the month of march so again that kind of got um put by the wayside so um the fact that i have hit pan does mean that i am going to roll this item out of this peeping pan project however i am going to keep this in my monthly makeup basket because i'm loving that brow powder because look at my brows people on fleek as my daughter would say so loving that palette for my brows more so than the um eyeshadows the highlighter i've been using under my eyebrows and in the corner of my eyes and it is really really stunning um but yeah i am rolling that out so as i have used up three products in my peeping pan i am going to pick some so noisy every video um I'm going to pick some more items so here are all my single um or duos or trios um eyeshadow things what do you call them no idea so let's dive on in um Okay, so the first thing, ooh, a brand new and opened uh, Wet n Wild Creme Brulee Single Eyeshadow. Apparently this is really good for setting your primer on your eyes. So yeah, I'm going to really enjoy uh, playing with that. I haven't, as I say, it's all sealed up, not even been opened to be swatched at all. So that's going to be fun. So this is the Cougar and this is six shades of nude. Now we got this in glitter box I think it was and basically you have six different shades um, or you can sort of like swirl your brush in and get a mixture of everything um so what i think i'll do is i'll probably be concentrating my brush in one sort of area and then try and hit pan on one of these shades as i say there are six shades in here so um i'll probably just pick a shade and then concentrate on that one until i hit pan so that will be that product so that's two 
this last month so <laughs> this is the Maybelline color tattoo and it is in the shade metallic pomegranate and if you watched my autumn eye makeup look which was a collaboration with the wonderful lightning glass I will leave that video for you down below I use this on my lids it is a stunning color let me see if I can get a decent swatch. My fingers are all filthy. Let's use this hand. So it is this shade here. I just, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's a really nice, like deep burgundy sort of shade. And it is really, really pretty. That's going to take me forever to hit pan, I think. But that's fine. We're here to work through them all. So, yay, I'm really happy. So, those are my new picks for the month of April. So, we still have our number seven shade and define pencil in gunmetal grey. We still have our Rimmel Glam Eyes in Azure. We still have the Makeup Revolution in Neutral Red. And our new picks for the month are Wet n Wild Creme Brulee, which I picked up in Spain. The Cougar Six Shades of Nude, which I got from Glitterbox. Rest in peace, I love that box. And um, the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Metallic Pomegranate which I used in my autumn makeup look. So those are my new six items. I'm thinking these are gonna look good together. I'm, can, or, I'm already inspired, see? See, this is why we do this, I'm already inspired. Okay, so that is my Peeping Pan project update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!